Hello and welcome to Quirky Cat Crafts. This is Sherry and this is part four of my Dungeons and Dragons uh, mixed media mosaic. And um, when I ended part three, it was because I needed to make some decisions. And on this video, we're going to be stamping out wizards and dragons. And I went back and forth with doing them on one tile. But I have decided not to because the amount of space between the dragon and the wizard, there was going to be a lot of dead space. And so what I've decided to do is do the dragons and the wizards separately. But then when I place them on the mosaic, like the dragon will be up here and then the wizard will be down here and there will be other tiles around. But the fact that they're going to be on the same clay color is going to kind of indicate that they go together even though they're not one big tile. So I think it's going to work. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I am undecided on the wizards, whether I'm going to stamp them in black, silver, or the colored inks. I th I'm leaning towards black or silver. And I think I'm going to go black. Um, but the dragons are going to be in color. So there's going to be one in each color. And I'm not sure how the colors are going to come out on this clay. So we're going to try it out and see how it goes. So... Um, the clay color is called Bluestone Souffle, and so it's kind of a blue-gray color. So, um, I guess let's start with the blue and see how blue on blue goes. So, um, I have four different dragons, and um, each of them is going to have the little flame coming out of their mouth. But, as I said in the last video, the way that the gaming world works there is that different colored dragons breathe different things. So, like the blue dragon blows ice, for example. So, um, so we're going to just do the flames in the same color as the dragon. So, let's get it inked up here. I'm a little worried about because it's such a... Um, just the silhouette. You really got to make sure you got good ink coverage. Okay, I think we're good there. So... Let's stamp it out and see how it goes. The blue ink should be all right on the blue clay. I'm more worried about like, and the purple should be all right. Green should be okay. I'm a little worried about the red color distorting, but if it doesn't work, I'll redo them in black ink and call it good. So. All right, let's see how it came out. And the flames got stuck. Mm, impression's a little deep on the flames. I'll remember that when I do the next one. Did the wing not? The wing didn't go. Look, you guys. Corner of the wing. Sorry, my head's going to be in there. i got to try and line this up and save this. Saved it. Usually not that lucky. Things are going in my favor. Shouldn't say that. I'm jinxing myself. All right. So there's the blue one. Gotta make sure, especially on the flames, that I get all the ink off because I don't want a different color showing up. All right. So that one's done. Come on. We'll do this one next. And it doesn't really matter which one is what color. Doesn't matter. All right. Anyway, yeah, and once I get these 
in the oven. I should have a full batch in the oven. And so I'll get those baking. So that um, I can start kind of doing a tentative layout and seeing how much room I have and all that kind of stuff. So I have no idea how I'm going to film laying it out because it's a uh, 20 by 26 inch mirror. I had it on my desk the other day just to see. And it pretty much takes up my whole desk, and I don't think I can get the whole thing in. in the, I might be able to if I raise the bracket up. It would be really far away, though. But And then I don't know what I'm going to do in regards to, you know, if I start laying it out, and then I'm going to have to move it to, to another batch of tiles or something. And where I would set it, where the cats won't get to it. We will have to figure that out. So, all right. So there's our blue one. Running out of space here, you guys. Okay. All right. And I have this big chunk, so let me... A little bit of white clay mixed in there. And is that a piece of metal? No. Sometimes when I cut the little um, metal shanks off the backs of charms or whatever. And they kind of just go flying everywhere and every once in a while I'll have one that gets stuck in my clay machine. And then when I roll my clay through, it gets embedded in the clay. All right, so this one, let's do red because I'm concerned about the red. So let's do the red and see how it comes out. And this red ink, I've learned that, like, after you bake it, it darkens up a little bit. So, it's not a true red. But it does darken up a little bit after you bake it. So, all right, let's see how the red comes out. Make sure I get the wings completely stamped on this one. No. All right. Can't have that happening. I'm wiping the ink off because I am going to add a strip of double-sided tape. I have an old one on there that's not sticky anymore. Back with it. Let's go on this side. And we will put our dragon back on here. And our flames. And we will re-ink and try this again. Trying to decide if my flames are backwards. I don't know that it matters. They're the other way on the other one, so let's turn it. Give it a little more ink. All right, let's see how the red comes out. No, it's all right. I'm happy with that.
Look at that red ink does not come off the stamps though, I can tell you that. Look at that, you guys. It's after cleaning. Hmm. All right. Peel the red one off. Let's see. This guy, he's kind of like this, I guess. Like, no, I was right. He's going to catch his own tail on fire, though. I can tell you that. All right. We're going to do that one in purple. Why? Because why not? out. I definitely want to make sure I leave enough room to cut him out however I want to cut him out. Do the green one. Must have got ink on the side of my ink. Ink, wow. On the side of my stamping block. I have a little bit of a blue line there, so. So, let's see. Do him this way. I'm nervous about it. We're going to do this. Got a little more here. I'm going to run it through the machine real quick. Because I've had that happen before where um, you know, it looks like there's room to stamp it and then you stamp it and you realize you can't cut it out straight. So, what in the heck is going on with this clump of clay though? You have to re ink that stamp now. I'm gonna give it another couple taps just to make sure. Sure, the tips of the wings and the tip of the tail. Everything gets in contact with the clay. I'm going to have to see when I cut that one out. Because I made a divot. <coughs> Excuse me. Stamping on clay is a lot different than stamping on paper. Because you have to allow for the fact that the clay is going to move. So, all right, let's see how the green one cuts out. Here, let's cut this off first, get it out of the way. I kind of did too much pressure at the tail. But I think we're going to be okay.
Nope, we're good, I think. Does it bother me that the tail is a little bit of a deeper impression? Hmm. Not enough to waste the clay to restamp it. Okay. Right, and we'll cut out our red and purple. And then we're going to do our wizards. Let's do the red first because I'm not sure how I'm going to cut out the purple yet. The red is pretty cut and dried. He's pretty much flying straight. Straighten up and fly right. That's what they say. The more ideas I get for this mosaic, the more I'm wondering if it's even going to be, sorry about my head, if it's even going to be a mirror or if I'm going to end up covering the entire interior in tiles. I also have not yet decided whether I'm going to um, leave gaps in between like I usually do, where I leave a small gap in between the tiles. I probably am. I feel like it it really separates each tile so because each tile really is a work of art. And if they're touching each other, I feel like they get all kind of smooshed together and you kind of lose some of the, the artisticness of it. All right, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna cut this guy out. Allowing for the fact that I also kind of went I want to just go like that and that or do I want to go like this and this this is what I'm feeling so that's what we're gonna do and hopefully I've got enough clay that's why it's never good to stamp that close to the edge because you don't allow room for error but I think we're okay. I think we are. So the number of times that you guys see my glasses up on top of my head, when my head comes into the shot, I'm supposed to, I was supposed to get bifocals and I just haven't done it yet. Um, and my glasses prescription are, they're really set for distance because I drive truck and I need to see distance, not really up close. So then anytime I'm doing something up close, like reading, you guys should see me in a restaurant trying to read a menu. It's ridiculous. Um, we're crooked. We are a little crooked. There we go. Um. But yeah, that's I need to get that taken care of. So there's our purple one. All right, so. Here's our four dragons. And now we're going to do our four wizards on the same color of clay. And what did I say? Black, right? Pretty sure I said black. Yeah. For the wizards. So that it's like a true silhouette. And then we're also going to do the bigger dragons on the navy blue glitter clay with silver ink. I have four of those. I'm going to stamp out all four, but odds are I'm only going to use two on the project. But I won't know which two until... I mean, I could decide now. I could say these are the two I want to use and just do them, but I'll go ahead and do all four. And... Whatever ones don't get used will get used on another dragon project or maybe on a 
on an Asian theme. I have a ton of stamps on an Asian theme that I have not used any of. And some of them are kind of Chinese looking dragons. So, so they'll get used on something else eventually. But for those of you that have seen my craft room tour video and how like over organized I am and how, um, you know, how I have containers that are so very detailed on what goes in what. And that's so that, you know, when I'm doing a project, you know, instead of just having one big container with a bunch of done tiles in there that I completely forget what I have, it's better to have, um, have it micro-organized, I guess is what you would call it, so... All right, so we're going to do the four wizards in black. And I think I'm just going to do all four at once. I have two smaller ones and two bigger ones. Do I have room? I'm going to move him over. these inked up. This is why I get nervous about just doing all of them at once because these ones in the middle are not inking up as well. Okay, now I feel like we got good inkage. Now the question is, is it going to fit on this? I think it should. Yeah, we're good. And my fear is that the ones in the middle may not stamp as well, but we're going to find out. No, we're good. Yay. Clean off my stamps. I always clean off my stamps immediately. And I take them off the blocks. Because I left one on a block once. I don't know what kind of chemical reaction was happening. But the stamp actually was like dissolving. It was like a gluey, icky mess. And it was totally ruined. I don't know what caused that. But ever since that happened. Thankfully it was just a little kind of unimportant stamp. It wasn't. I think it was just like a heart or something. And I've got tons of hearts, but yeah. That was something I learned. And then I always put the stamps right back where they go. And it goes in a pile to be put away later. But they're all like secure in a basket. All right, let's cut out our wizards. And like I said, we'll do the four big ones, or possibly just two, we'll see. And then that will be it for this video. And then, teaser for the next video, um, that will be where I stamp out the castle and the magic wand, or the magic wand, the uh, treasure chest. And then I've got two stacks of books, one with a crow on top and one with an owl. And those are going to get stamped out and colored with mica powders. So that will be a little more time consuming. That will be a longer video. So make sure you've got your snacks and your beverages. And make sure you go to the bathroom and... Get comfortable, because that one will be a long one. Just heads up on that.
depending on how long it takes to do. You know, I might do the castle and the treasure chest as one and the two birds with books with the other, but we'll see how long it takes me. Or I might stamp them all out in the first one and then come back for a second video for coloring them in. Could do that as well. And I know I don't necessarily need to like record stamping everything out, but I don't have a lot of projects on my channel where I've done absolutely every step from beginning to end. Usually you guys are just seeing bits and pieces. Um, if you are looking for another um, start to finish project, I did one last year in a golf theme where I filmed every single step. So, so that's another one. But if every single one of my videos was start to finish, it would be a bit much. So a lot of the times I just um, like I'll show the planning stage. I might show like making a few of the tiles and then I'll come back and show the final. So the final, the final reveal is always done. You guys, you're always going to see the end, the end result. So you may not see every single step on every single project, but you will always see the final reveal. That is a promise. So something else I'm bad about that I'm working on is I start a lot of projects and then I either get lost with what I'm doing or I lose the, uh, the passion for it and I'll set it aside. And so, I don't know. I wonder if I should start waiting to post the videos until I actually complete the project and then do them all at once. I am also going to be working on creating playlists so that, because I kind of jump around, so then that way you can guys can see what's, what's the what. So, things I'm working on, I've been talking to um, another artist here the last uh, day or two, and her name is Sherry also. Uh, S-H-E-R-R-Y, and her page is uh, Share Bears Whimsical Gifts, and she's got a YouTube channel and a Facebook page, and she's been giving me a lot of tips on how to make my channel better, because I've only been at this a year, and as I've stated, I'm driving truck, I don't have a whole lot of time. So I haven't really put a whole lot of effort into it. I just film the videos and throw them up. And so I'm grateful for my subscribers that are sticking with me. So anyway, but she's been giving me a lot of good ideas, so. To make my channel more viewer friendly, I guess. So, I will show you guys this tile before I end it. And show you how they've come out. Last one. I'm running out of room. I don't know that I'm going to have room for the big dragons. I'm going to see where we're at time wise. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'll determine whether I'm going to do that on a different video or go ahead and do it on this one. I have another tile I can lay it out on. I just won't be able to fit it in the oven. I'll have to bake, bake the first batch and then come back. So, we'll see how much time. I'm trying to keep these around 30 minutes, give or take. 
so. All right, sorry about my head. I know it's got to be in there after this one. But I don't want to cut his magic wand off. Then he'd really be in trouble against the whatever breathing dragon that he's going to end up facing. So, um, so like as an example, when it's laid out on the mosaic, I don't like how I cut this one out. I really don't. I feel like he should have been more at an angle. Nah, that's all right. I can actually take a bit off the top of him then. Let's do that. Maybe because there's too much blank space. It's bugging me. So, so like this dragon will be here and the wizard will be here and then there will be other tiles. But because they're the same color of clay, hopefully, theoretically, the eye is going to automatic, the brain's going to automatically associate them together. I might do him this way. I actually kind of like that better. But yeah, you get the point. All right, so let me bring both these in and then we're going to see where we're at time wise. All right. Yep, we're right at 32 minutes, so I think I am going to call it good on this one. Nah, we'll go ahead and do the other ones, but let me show you these real quick. So there we go. Those will be going into the oven. And then let's go ahead and do our big ones. So, here's our big ones. And as you can see, this one's like very oriental looking. Um, so, I know they're going to be one on either side of the mosaic. So, it'll be this one for sure, and then either this one or this one. And probably this one. And the reason why is because proportionately their heads are very similar. So... I think we're going to do these two. And according to my list, they're going to be on the blue galaxy glitter in silver ink. So that is what we're going to do. So let's get the galaxy glitter. Losing it. I swear I just grabbed another brick of it. Oh, it's in the basket. My bad. Okay. So, Galaxy Glitter. It's, um, you know, navy blue and it's got, it's got gold glitter, but then it's also got like a white glitter and like kind of a light blue glitter. So, it just makes me think night sky. I use this one quite often to represent night. So... All right. And like on the book box, I did them in gold ink because that was the color of the metal that I was using for the charms. But on this one, because of the decor of the room, and I know I'm repeating myself, but because the decor of the room is blue, black, and gray, I want to go silver ink. So instead of gold and also because my charms are all silver I'm getting kind of streaky I don't know why it's going streaky so we're gonna run it through again one more time so I think I need to clean out my clay machine I'm getting other colors mixing in so all right silver clay or silver ink rather I have silver and I have white the white is called platinum
it's tempting. It's really tempting to try the white. There is a lot of gray going on on this. Let's try the white, shall we, you guys? If it ends up being no good, then I will do something else with those. That looks kind of silvery to me for it supposedly being white ink. Let's see how it looks when I apply it to the stamp. No? I think it's white. These are not archival ink, by the way. And it doesn't say whether they're permanent or not. Um, and so I'm very careful with not doing um, a coat of varnish on the top because it would smear it. So, all right. Let's see how this looks. Make sure that the tips of the wings and his little toes and the tip of his tail. Ooh, I like that. What do you guys think of that? I like that a lot. So I say we go with it. So, this. sure if this is going to be enough clay for this other one. He's bigger. I think we better go ahead and trim this one because I think I'm going to need the extra clay. Alright. Uh-oh. And this is what I get for not making sure and that there's enough. I might have an issue on this little corner over here. We're going to see. I might have to do some tapping with my blade to kind of change the... to get a good solid corner. We're going to see. Let's see how it comes out here. Sorry, you guys. I really don't have a lot of room to play with here, so. We're okay, and I mean just by the skin of my teeth. So. There's that one. And, so let's get the other one stamped out. And then that'll be the end of This video, part four, part five will be castle and treasure chest for sure, possibly the birds and books, and if it's going too long, then birds and books will be part six, and then that should be, oh no, and then part seven is going to be the, our textured filler and our leafing. That might be part seven, eight. I don't know. This could end up being a 20 part series, you guys. I don't know. Um, but I'm trying to get all of the clay tiles done because those have to bake. And then I'll turn to the signs because I'll need to paint the chipboard and decide what I'm going to do with that. And then the stickers. So. But yeah, like I said from the beginning, there's a whole lot going on with this one. So 
Here, I want to redo this one where his tail is at the bottom and he's... Because this one's upright, so... Huh. He was on the wrong side on the... So that they're like this. Because right now the other one's like, kind of like that. I think I'm going to redo him. Get this one done first. We're going to redo that other one. Let's get this one cut out. I love this color of clay. If they ever get rid of this color of clay, I'm going to cry. Does that guys drive you guys nuts? Like when you get a favorite color of clay and then for whatever reason they just decide... They're going to discontinue it and bring out new ones. And I'm all for new colors, but I don't like it when they discontinue ones. So. And yes, I know you can buy clay colors and use the recipes and mix and match and, and like blend your own colors. But I don't have time for that, you guys. I want to open the clay package, roll it out, stamp on it or whatever I'm going to do, and get on with it. So, alright, so there's that dragon. And we are going to redo this guy. So that he's... It's kind of like he's sitting up, so. So, I'm going to fold this in half. And get this rolled out so you can as long as you don't run it through your pasta machine too many times the ink's not gonna blend up to the level that you're looking at so so then you don't waste the clay that is what I found but if you run it through two or three times it'll work its way to the top but I think we're good right there Is this the right one? No, that's the one I just did. Huh. Is it the one I just did? No, it's not. I'm losing it, you guys. I think it's about time for me to go eat some dinner. I just realized I've been talking to you guys about stuff that's happening currently in my life. That I have all of these set to not post until after I give the gift, which might be in a few weeks and it might not be till Christmas. And so things are going to be, but then I guess if you're watching it a year later, it wouldn't matter anyway. So all right, let's see. Get this one cut out at a better angle. I didn't even know what time it was. Craft room time. Isn't it funny how craft room time is not anywhere near the same as normal time craft room time is a 
It's its own entity. The clock I have in here is an alarm clock. Maybe I should start setting it to go off like every hour or every two hours. Just so that I don't lose track of the time. Sometimes I don't realize how late it is till I look up and the sun's coming up. Because, again, because I work nights and sleep during the day, I'm in here at when it's dark outside. So, I don't have any idea how much time passes. Are we crooked? Looks a little crooked to me. That's better. All right. And these are our other dragons. And I will zoom in on it. So there we go. That's stamping out dragons. And that's it for this video. Tune in for part four. Are we on part four? Yes. Tune in for part four, which will be the castle, the treasure chest, and the book stamps. That's it for now, you guys. Thanks so much for watching.